Thank you. Happy to take any questions from members of the media. Yeah, Mary. Governor, hi. Thank you. If, if we're going to restrict sports, what does that tell parents about school? Yeah. Um, one district is already, Barrington has decided to go to all remote. Others are considering it. Mm -hmm. Would you feel good about your kids going to school right now? I think each school is trying to set plans for their school. I've said all along here that the, the um, uh, ISB has been putting out guidance to make sure that there are some basic requirements like masking in schools that are adhered to, but because each school is so much different, there are different campuses, there are differently configured buildings, different numbers of people in a building per square foot. We really want those schools to make decisions for themselves, but there's no doubt about it. I'm watching very closely. If the numbers continue to rise, you know, we're moving on uh, regions. If they uh, trip the 8% uh, uh, metric or the other metrics that we've set out uh, to try to put mitigations in place, and we're watching carefully about schools and whether or not um, you know, they're opening and doing the right thing, uh, opening safely. I'm particularly concerned about school districts that are talking about opening without any masks, which is, of course, against the rules in the state of Illinois. Um, it's also uh, unsafe and unhealthy for not just the kids but also the teachers, the administrators, the paraprofessionals, and the families who come to school often uh, several times a week. Governor, yesterday the, uh, the mayor added uh, four states, I believe, to the quarantine list for Chicago. Have you considered a similar uh, quarantine uh, for people from the state of Illinois, for people coming from other states? You know, I haven't. And the reason is that, uh, as you know, we have many people that live in border communities who might work on the other side of the border, on both sides, I might add. People who live in Wisconsin work in Illinois. People who live in Illinois work in Iowa and so on. Um, I don't want to restrict their activities. Um, uh, I do think this is exactly the example of why we needed national mandates, why we needed a national strategy around COVID-19. Uh, because you can't, there's no way to protect a border. You know, we have half the uh, positivity rate of some of our neighbors and a third of others. And uh, I would like very much to, you know, to have Illinois be, you know, the lowest in the nation. Um, I'd also like to have the whole nation have their positivity rates go down. Um, so I, I just don't think it's practical. Uh, and so I haven't imposed that. Um, but I will adhere to. Uh, that rule because I live in the city of Chicago. But does that mean your family will as well? Sure, of course. They will. Can you be more uh, descriptive? Expansive about for your camera? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, folks sure. don't know. Yes. Will, will you I and my family will follow the rules that have been set up by the mayor for people who live in the city of Chicago. Governor, let's can talk you? about travel sports. Sorry, I was sure. coaching. That's why I'm like on CPS. So does this start tomorrow? Um, no, I believe that the I believe the start date is the middle of the month because there are sports going on now. Um, it, yeah, the, so we've tried to ease into it, but I'll get you the exact start date um, right after if you don't mind. Okay, Governor, you, you're talking yeah. about the regions, and Dr. Yes. G. Game on to every region in the Chicago viewing area, from Lake County down to Kankakee to Will, has increased almost some of them a percent in positivity rates over the last week alone. Yes. So. At this trajectory, some of them hitting 6% in two weeks, we could be at the 8% mark. So I guess why 8% and not lower than that? Because clearly every single county in our viewing area yeah. is on the increase right now. We actually think it's possible that regions will uh, trip the you know metrics uh, that will move it backward uh, without hitting 8%. Because remember, there's another set of metrics and that's rising positivity rates, rising hospitalizations, you know, and hospital capacity. Those are things that all play into another way that we measure these regions. So you're right. I mean, but you also see that there is one region that is very close to 8%. And so we wanted that as a fail safe, that even if, if they didn't meet the other markers, that 8% is something that's getting out of control. And so we, we will have to set in mitigations uh, when that 8% is trip, but we honestly anticipate that uh, other regions could possibly trip this uh, by tripping these other metrics that we've set. Mm -hmm. And that when we hit eight percent, are you, and the governor, going to say all e-learning? 
state? That's not what we set out. If you go look at, yeah, what, what we have set out is a set of tiered mitigations, right? So, you know, we'll, we'll begin with uh, bars, for example, which are, you know, clearly one area where we've seen transition where a lot of uh, uh, bars are not adhering to capacity limits, for example. Um, it, there are other things that are on the list of mitigations that, that will impose, um, including, you know, gathering limits, um, looking at specific types of gatherings. But if you go to the website where we've laid out all of those mitigations, there's a kind of a menu there that starts out with a few that are nearly automatic, and then there are others that, depending upon the region and what's going on, I would go back to something that I've talked about earlier about Metro East. There was a, uh, a party bus. You know, you've, you've heard this story, right, where it got spread as a result of somebody or some group of people on the party bus at each of these uh, bars. And so, you know, that's an example of something that, you know, a mitigation put in place to try to limit that kind of spread where we know there's something specific that we should do. I'd like to put that mitigation in place in that region. Yeah. Governor, 